In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to configure a variation listing, or an N matrix, as it's referred to in Seller Cloud. An N matrix shows the relationship between products that share major common characteristics, but have minor variations. For example, sports jerseys of all kinds share the common characteristic of being a sports jersey. Yet, they can have differences in size and color. Listing similar products as variations in one listing is advantageous for several reasons. First of all, putting multiple products under one listing makes it easier for customers to locate the variation they are looking for. Another benefit relates to eBay listings specifically, because eBay will give a higher ranking to a listing that generates more sales, something that typically occurs with variations. Typically, vendors assign a separate unique SKU for each variation and they are imported into your catalog as separate SKUs. With an N matrix, these variation SKUs can be grouped under one parent matrix SKU and posted as one listing. Size and color are referred to as dimensions, and with Seller Cloud, you can create any number of dimensions in a single N matrix. Let's begin by opening the Client Settings page in the Settings menu and enabling the N matrix capability by checking the Enable Product and Matrix option. Now go back to the Settings menu and click on the End Matrix tab. On the following page, there is a grid that displays all existing End Matrix dimensions. Click on Add New Dimension. We are going to add a dimension of sizes for sports jerseys. Because other apparel may have differing size measurements, we'll enter Sports Jersey Sizes into the Unique Name field. The display name will be how the name displays on the channel, so we'll just enter Size. Put in an abbreviated ID and select a manufacturer and product type for reference. These last two fields are not required. Save your dimension. Now click Manage Values to add values to the dimension. These will be the values you will be offering your customer when this dimension has been added to the product. For our example of sports jersey sizes, we'll enter small, put an abbreviation of SM, and save. The value will display in the grid below. We'll do the same thing for medium, large, and extra large sizes. In the end matrix dimensions grid, this newly created dimension will display together with its values. The dimension can always be edited from this grid. To delete a dimension, select the dimension and click Delete on the action menu. Now we can configure an end matrix product in the catalog. A matrix is comprised of actual physical component variations, or matrix children, while the matrix parent is only a virtual product under which to group the components. Therefore, you need to add the matrix parent to your inventory. Click on Add New Product from the Inventory menu to create a matrix parent. The SKU and name can reflect the parent's general status. In our example, we'll call it Sports Jerseys. Now open the Parent SKUs toolbox and click on End Matrix. Select Matrix General from the submenu. On this page, Select the dimensions you want to use for this matrix. We'll select sport jersey size and color dimensions. You can add a dimension on the fly by entering it here and clicking Submit. Click Continue. On the following page, a grid will display with the dimensions of the product and suggested SKUs for the variations. If the variation product already exists in your catalog, you can enter the existing SKU next to the corresponding value. Click Save and the matrix will be created. You can also manage your matrix from this page by using these actions to remove a product, configure images, delete the whole matrix, and set a physical inventory on each variation. If inventory has already been set at the Variations Product Summary page, that value will display in this grid. Now we need to select images for the matrix. Although the images may already be uploaded on the variation products, you will still need to connect the image to the dimension. For example, we'll add the image of this color dimension by selecting an image file. 
We can also use this link to select the image from the product's homepage. After creating the matrix, you can navigate from the matrix child to the matrix parent by opening the end matrix page on the matrix child. You will be redirected to the matrix parent. On the Manage Inventory grid, matrix parents will be noted by the matrix icon at the right of the row. You can also filter inventory searches for matrices on the Advanced Search tab. As explained earlier, the matrix parent is not a real product. Therefore, the inventory for each matrix parent will always be zero. Inventory quantities will instead be tied to each individual variation. When an order comes in, the individual variation SKU that was purchased will be on the order, and inventory will be deducted from that particular SKU. This tutorial demonstrated how to create an end matrix in your catalog. Your next step would be to ready the matrix for listing on various sales channels. Different channels work with variation listings differently, so the process of completing the matrix can vary for each marketplace or shopping cart. To see how to complete the matrix configuration for a specific channel, please locate the video tutorial related to that specific marketplace or shopping cart. For more information on NMatrix, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.